Hey everyone, Sula here from mistyhilltops.com. Thanks for stopping by. I have another um, few pages uh, for my Christmas album 2022, which is uh, about December 24 and 25th, which is which gets really to where we celebrate Christmas. Except that I spent my Christmas in bed this year, so um, there wasn't really all that much happening. For Christmas there I had a big party planned and everything and all of that had to be cancelled so um, I'm starting with the December 25th side uh, side of the page um, it's a page spread and I have two square photos there that will go on on that um, side and then um, there's the little flap that I plan on um, putting on to the left side of the page so um, everything is kind of a little bit messed up in the order but it doesn't matter because I I just work on a spread anyway and so here I have the front I have with just a bit of pattern paper and the back side has a journaling card um, not much was happening as I said so there isn't even much of a story to tell um, there's a stamp that um, I have with a um, die cut set and um, so that made it on uh, the front side of this um, flap and here I am getting ready to glue that flap down onto the page there. So I have to do that first so that when I add other photos and papers and all that whatever that flap is where I put the glue strip that where I put the glue the glue strip um, will be covered up by the photo so that in the end you will really not see or take note of any of these glue strips anymore um, in these albums so that's the beauty of it even though you work with with these glue strips and flaps and things like that um, in the end uh, they're so they're blending in so well with the background that you don't even take note of them at all so then I have a strip of uh, three photos two by three in size um, that goes down the page and then a nice strip of paper that I am putting down on the left side of this right uh, on the right side of this left page and then I have these two um, other pieces of paper that will um, go here and here I think these are three by three photos and um, this is a smaller um, page it's not a six by six even the other page is not a six by six I think the other page is a six by four five and a half and I think this one is actually a six by five um, and then there is um, this other flap here where I'm now gluing the photos on and the, the pattern papers um, that is actually a four by five so it's not even a six uh, or four by four and a half a five and a half or something um, but it is a smaller so that's the the nice thing about this album it, it comes in all these different sizes the page sizes and it makes it very interesting if you only just discovered the site or, or this um, channel then um, I recommend that you check out my website mistyhilltops.com there's a whole bunch of freebies like this album you can download as a freebie um, well collected it, it is in, in many parts and I'm still not done sharing all of it so if you keep coming back you will be able to eventually download all the parts that I make available as download um, such as um, this just this is a base signature it's already available and um, here I am adding a little date and my journaling card goes in there and then I have a little bit more that I can do to embellish um, uh, with uh, die cut pieces that I have and so there's this Christmas title but I felt it was really getting lost in the pattern paper and um, so I wasn't gonna add them to this so anyways um, I do have a lot of other projects that are still coming on um, this channel so um, make sure you uh, keep checking things out um, some of them are fun project well all of them are fun for me but um, some of them um, are albums some of them are um, just scrapbook pages and all that is still coming so um, keep coming back to check this out so here I have a few more embellishments 
that I want to add to my page there. And um, this is an actual title that I created in the silhouette and then just had my silhouette cut out. And then this is a print and cut that I created and I, I just keep reusing it every year in a different color scheme depending on what um, the color is that I'm working on with that year. Um, this is an ornament that I am working on right now and I'm gluing it on off screen um, just to make sure that it really sticks well. Sorry that um, some of the work is off screen there. Um, but this is from my silhouette library from the store years ago and um, I like to add a little bit of a um, 3D kind of feel to my pages some, sometimes so this is a 3D kind of um, ornament that will go on to the bottom there because I have all these leftover pieces and I'm running out of days of this album so I have to see where I will put all these um, things. I have a lot of the word strips here and these word strips I share as freebie on my blog mistyhilltops.com so if you're interested you can just um, find the download. It's a Christmas word strips and all I do is I print them on cardstock and then um, I trim them with my trimmer and then cut the individual words or phrases just by hand and so I keep adding these uh, they're a lot of fun to work with there's way more than I could ever use in one album so um, but that's how I can just keep adding and piling them on and I love how the, the way that they turn out and um, they make some great pieces of embellishments for my pages so um, still can't I can't really agree with adding the title to this heavily patterned paper so I'm just going to leave it at that and then I have these other labels they come from the silhouette store they're in my library and I keep reusing them they're just um, for different things like cookies and stuff and so um, I keep adding those as embellishments to my pages as well they're fun to work with so here is that and i'm going to leave you with some more close-ups i hope you enjoyed this video give it a thumbs up if you did consider subscribing and i hope you have a great day thanks for watching bye